4-4, solving equations by multiplying or dividing. Yesterday we had two steps to our adding and subtracting equations. Step number one was to find the operation. Step number two was to do the opposite operation to balance each side. Multiplying and dividing is the same. We will just have different looks. So instead of addition and subtraction, subtraction, excuse me, you might have something like this. First question is, I have to find the operation. What are the negative 4 and the x doing? If they're side by side, if there's no separation, then this is a multiplication problem. This is saying negative 4 times x. So my second step is to do the opposite operation to both sides. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm just going to make a fraction, and I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. On this side, the negative 4s will cancel each other. And on our right side, we are 12 divided by negative 4, which is going to give us a negative Example number two. Again, it looks the same. The 10 and the x are multiplying by each other, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So to balance both sides, I'm going to divide both sides by 10, because again, in the equations, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So my 10s will cancel, leaving me x equals negative 120 divided by 10. It's going to end up being negative 12. So that's what multiplication looks like. Let's take a look at a division problem. A division problem is going to look like a fraction. So we might have... We might have x over negative 8 equals 12. Anytime you see the fraction look, you should think division. And in this case, what's the opposite of division? The opposite of division is going to be multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by whatever number I'm dividing by. In this case, it happens to be negative 8. So I multiply both sides by negative 8. The 8's cancel. Now on this side, we've got 12 times negative 8, so 12 times 8. That's going to give me 96. And because I have one negative, that's going to make my sign negative. So negative 96. Okay, let's look at one that's a little more involved. How about 2 thirds x equals negative 6? 2 thirds is a fraction. Okay, I should, uh, I should be thinking multiplication. But unlike the one over there, I don't just have, unlike the one to the left, I don't just have one number that I can multiply both sides by. So when I think fraction, I've got numerator and denominator. I am going to multiply, but what number am I going to multiply that's going to cancel my two-thirds? So now we need to think of multiplicative inverse. So I'm going to take the inverse of two-thirds, or the reciprocal, and I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. The reason I do this is to remember our canceling rules when we multiply fractions. The 3's can cancel, and the 2's can cancel, just leaving me x equals, I'm going to go ahead and make this negative 6 over 1 times 3 halves. We can cancel the 2 into the 6. Don't forget the negative sign. There's no canceling of the negative sign. It's still there. So now I have negative 3 times 3 
which gives me an answer of 9. Excuse me, negative 9. Little brain for you there. Okay. X equals negative 9. Let's do another one of those. I know fractions are are sometimes not our favorite, but we're going to make them our friends on this one. Um, let's take negative 4 fifths y equals negative 10. Okay. Negative 4 fifths y equals negative 10. I have a full fraction, numerator, denominator, so I'm still going to multiply both sides by its reciprocal. So 5 over negative 4 5 cancels negative 4's cancel I'm going to save a step here and I'm going to just make this negative 10 over 1 a fraction from that point I'm going to go ahead and work the numbers um, the 4 can't go into the 10 but 2 can go into 4 twice, and 2 can go into 10 5 times. So now we have negative 5 over 1 times positive 5 over negative 2. So that's going to give me negative 25 all over negative 2. And what is a negative divided by a negative? If I count up the signs, that's 2. So that means my answer is positive 25 halves, or if we change that to a mixed number, 2 is going to go into 25 12 times with 1 left over. Best answer, 12 and 1 half. That's all for tonight. We will see you tomorrow.